Hello friends, welcome back to DigiTalk and the part 8 of performance tuning. In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, the analysis of heap dump, how you can take the heap dumps and then how you can do the analysis of heap dumps. So there are a lot of tools available in the market, okay, when we talk about the taking of the heap dump and for the analysis of the heap dump, okay. And specifically when you are working as a WebLogic Server Administrator, okay, or in a support, okay. So you may not be a perfect developer. But you are because you are working in a support, okay. But it is very important for you to understand some uh, critical aspects of the heap dump, okay, so that you can gather the information and can share this information with the developers, right? So initial analysis you have to be done, like looking, taking the heap dumps and then taking certain kind of a initial information from the heap dump, and then you can share with the developers for the further analysis okay so in this video i am going to cover all of the aspects what are the different tool in the market to take the heap dump uh heat dumps and then how you can do the search, some initial basis of analysis based on that one okay so as you can see on the screen that there are a lot of tools like the visual vm flight recorder j hat j map so let us uh, jmc there are a lot of different tools are available in the market okay so i am going to explain all in this video Okay, so if we talk about the heap dump, so I have posted a separate video on that uh, with with a detailed explanation on heap dump, what exactly is heap dump, okay. Uh, but if you haven't gone through that one, so heap dump is, you can say, the initial size of your memory, okay, where your all the objects get uploaded, okay. So when, you're, when you start your, uh, any of your server, it allocate a heap size for that one. That means it, it allocated a, uh, a physical RAM size for your, uh, JVM, Java Virtual Machines, and then during the execution, your all objects or classes uploaded in your heap. Okay, so heap dump. What exactly is heap dump? So sometimes when we have a problem with the heap, with the memory, okay, then we take a snapshot of your uh, heap size, okay, or you can say about the snapshot of your JVM heap, okay, and then we do the analysis of the objects or the classes. Those are uploaded in your heap at that particular. A moment so that we can get the idea of which exactly class or object is the problematic for the further troubleshooting okay so there are different ways to <clears throat> ways to take heap dump okay and when we talk about the java based applications or, or for jvm okay so the one option that is how you can enable it by default so whenever we start our uh, any of your admin server or maybe managed servers Okay, then how we can automatically enable the heap dump so that in case of any out of uh, memory kind of a problems when your server uh, server get exit or maybe you forced shut down your servers due to out of memory problems. Okay, at that time it automatically take the heap dump for you. Okay, so for that you have a command that is uh, highlighted in red in the screen that you have to add in your Java uh, JVM parameters. Okay, so the parameter is heap dump on out of memory error and then heap dump path okay so where that means whenever uh, there is a out of memory error in your jvm okay it will automatically take the heap dump on the specified path which whatever you will specify i have given the opt data domains and domain demo domain okay this is the path of my domain so you can specify any path where you wanted to store your heap dump so this file will be in the binary format okay now, second option uh, for generating the heap is JMAP. But apart from JMAP, you have a JCMD, J Console, VZM, Visual VM, and many more tools are available to take the heap dump. So, when we talk about JMAP, which is the most popular tool, the most frequently used in the uh, support for taking the heap dump. Okay, and for that, I have given the complete command options on the screen. The first option is if you wanted to take the heap dump, which is allow to run the full gc as well that means once you will initiate this command it will take the heap dump okay but before that one it will run the full gc that means it will run the full garbage collection and the option is live you will see that hyphen dump colon live option is there so if you will include the live option it will run the full gc before taking the heap dump if you will exclude the live option then it will not take the uh, it will not run the full gc before taking the heap dump sometimes if your uh, option one and option two are not working that means here you are not able to generate the heap dump with the help of above two commands okay you can specify the hyphen f force option as well to generate the heap dump 
second is jcmd okay so with the help of jcmd you can again uh, an option will call hyphen all so it will specify the hyphen all option that it will run the full garbage collection before taking the heap dump if you will omit this hyphen all option it will not run the full garbage collection okay and the command is jcmd so jcmd is also come bundled with the, your java jdk which you installed right so then again then you have to specify the pid and then you have to run the uh, parameter gc dot heap underscore dump okay and then hyphen all and then the name of the dump file and then you have a certain more parameters like gc dot heap info and gc dot run as well which you can run for your heap dump another option is j console you can take uh, the heap dump with the help of j console as well which is a graphical tool if you have access of the graphical environment okay then you can open the j console which is again bundled with your jdk uh, just go inside your jdk bin folder and double click on j console okay dot bat file on the windows and then dot sh on the unix based systems and once that your tool is open click on the mbin tab inside mbin tab click on com dot sun dot management and inside that you have to click on the uh, diagnostic command option okay and inside the diagnostic command you will have a hotspot diagnostic and then you will get a uh, option called heap dump inside the operations just double click uh, on this uh, dump heap dump uh, dump heap option okay and then you will see the screen which is on the right hand side there you can specify the name of your heap file dump file size i have given the dump dot hprof okay and then if you wanted to run the full gc before taking the heap dump then you specify the parameter as uh, true if you don't want to run the full gc then you specify the false okay and with the help of that you can generate the heap dump that is with the help of j console tool apart from that you have a similar tool called visual vm okay so you that, that with this visual vm you can also download uh, uh, from because it is an open source tool you can download it easily from the internet okay and then again go to the, go to inside the bin and then you can run the uh, visual vm exe file it will open the tool okay for you and by default it will automatically detect all of the jvms which is running on that particular machine which is also called a local machine where you have installed this visual vm for example if you have uh, your web logic is running on a linux machine and then you have installed this particular visual vm on the linux machine and once you will start this tool it will automatically detect all the jvms which is running on the linux machines okay and in case of a remote like for example you have a uh, web logic which is running on linux machine but you have uh, this jvm tool on your uh, local laptop or desktop okay then you have to connect it remotely with the linux machines and once you will connect that remotely with the help of jms connection it will automatically detect all of the jvms which is running on that particular machine in my case you can see that uh, that uh, jvm process is automatically detected okay so once it is done you can right click on that one and then you will see a option that heap dump along that you will see that thread dump and some more options as well that means you can take the thread dumps as well from here and then because now we are working on the heap dump okay just click on the heap dump so once you will click on the heap dump it will open a new window on the right hand side okay and visual vm enables you to browse heap dumps as shown above with the class view okay where you can easily identify the number and percentage of instances referred by each class okay that, that means what i said is that what is a heap dump what is a heap is that where you have a, all the running object and classes are uploaded in your heap at the runtime right so to analysis initial analysis what all are the classes those are loaded inside your heap what are the total number of instances used by that particular classes and what is the size of that particular class it will be completely displayed display with the help of this particular tool so here you can see that this is the section for class classes and this is a section for total instances okay and this is the class name okay you can see the class name which is taking the higher number of creating the higher number of instances and taking the higher number of size that means the higher portion of your jvm is the cap character class right and then here you can see the number of instances so here is the graph which is showing that the larger number of uh, instances are created inside the character class okay and the count is there now apart from that you can use the visual vm for runtime heap statistics as well that means at the runtime the when your server is running at that time you want to perform the heap dump you want to take the heap dump when your server is running or you want to do some more statistics of your related with your servers then you can use use this jvm visual vm tool okay so again that's right click on on or, or double click on the process id which is displaying on the 
left hand side. After that, a new window will open on the right hand side, which will show the different tabs like overview, monitor, thread, sampler, profiler. So these are the different options that you can utilize uh, for the analysis of your running JVM. Okay, so thread option is there. You can go to thread and then you can take the thread dumps as well. Okay, and then you have a sampler. So just uh, in case of you are going for the analysis of your memory, so click on the sampler. So once you will click on the sampler, okay, and then sample memory, okay, it will take some time to collect the samples, okay, and then for that, during that uh, period, it will show you that CPU sampling, checking availability, and then memory sampling, checking availability, <clears throat> okay, and then it will take some time <clears throat> for the execution, okay, so once after some time this sampling is enabled, okay, it will show you that available. Okay, press the CPU button to start collecting performance data and for memory, press the memory button to start collecting memory data. <clears throat> so if you want to do the analysis of your, <clears throat> sorry, for the CPU, then click on the CPU tab. And if you want to uh, go for the sampling of your memory, then click on the memory tab. Okay, so once you will click on the memory, then it will show you the statistics, which is connected with the runtime JVM. So in, uh, uh, in the previous sessions, what we have done then, we have created the heap dump and then we, have, we were doing the analysis of heap dump, which is the offline heap dump. But now, as of now, what we are doing is that we are connected with the live JVM, running JVM, okay? And then at runtime, we are viewing the memory information. So in that case, whatever the information that you are seeing on the screen with respect to class name, the percentage of bytes, number of instances, it will get fluctuate at the runtime because it is connected with the live JVM. So as soon as the JVM is processing the different kind of a request related with the different kind of classes, it will get fluctuated on the screen because it is a live connected JVM. Okay. So this, this is a section which will show you the total number of classes at that particular moment in your <coughs> JVM. <coughs> and this section show you the class names. Okay. And this is the showing you the graph of the utilization of your objects. And this is the total number of bytes. And this is the total number of instances that are loaded inside your Java object. Okay. So when as a, system, as a, as a web logic admin or maybe if you're a middleware admin, you are uh, doing the analysis of the heap dumps. Okay. So this is the first thing that you have to see in your uh, heap dump. Okay. And probably this information you can share with the developers that this is the uh, topmost classes. Those are taking the higher number of higher size of the heap, and these are the total number of instances that is creating inside your different classes. So this is the information is the initial you can say the initial information useful to share with the developers. If you wanted to take the snapshot of that one, like for example, instead of sending the email, you wanted to send the complete snapshot with along with your email to the developers, then you can click on the snapshot. Okay. And once you will click on the snapshot, it will open a new window. Okay, and then you will see that the complete snapshot of your uh, JVM heap has been taken on the screen with uh, the total number of classes and then the total number of bytes in the each class and then total number of instances in the in, in each class, it will be get populated. And then you can click on the save button, which is showing inside the profiler snapshot buttons. And then once you are sending the email to developers, then you can send that particular email along with this snapshot. Okay, and this is the snapshot section which will be opened. Apart from that, we have a JHAT tool as, uh, as well for the analysis of heap dump. So for that, because it is again an offline analysis, so you have to specify uh, your dump file name with the help of JHAT tool, which is again come bundled with the JDK. So specify the JHAT and the name of your dump file. So it will take some time and it, uh, once it is completed, it will start a web server by default on the port 7000. Okay, so that means JHAT tool will open, will run a web server and then it will give you a URL which you can use for analysis of your heap dump. That means it will open it in the web browser. <clears throat> so with the help of that web browser, you can do the analysis of your heap dump. Apart from that, you have a one more uh, interesting tool that is called Open Source Eclipse Mat, which is an open source, open source tool from the Eclipse. Okay, again, this you can uh, download this uh, tool from the internet. It is, it is open source tool, and then you can open your heap dump file. Okay, and then you will see a, uh, a very smart graph which will show you the complete analysis of your objects or the classes that are there in your heap dump at that particular moment. Another one is JFR. So, this is I'm going to explain in my second video. So, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for a few more interesting videos.